Hi, today we're going to cover uh, bundling your product to add value to it. Uh, so you may be in a uh, competitive product category where everyone seems to have the same items. So adding something to that, that product, whether it's more of the same item or additional different items to create a set or a bundle may help you stand out, may, be, may increase your profit margin because you're able to charge a premium price. Um, may make your listing unique amongst several very similar looking photographs. Uh, bundling can be used as a way to upsell as well. Maybe you have one product which is a single item, another product which is a free pack of the same item, and you're able to charge a lot more for the free pack. The, the customer is getting a discount for buying free at the same time, but your overall profit margin per sale and your sale value increases as well. So. For example, if you were doing something like socks, you could quite easily bundle two together um, and create a, a two pack. One, a single one might be selling for $15. Here you're selling two for 24. So the customer thinks and feels they're getting a good deal and you're getting now $24. You're taking away the Amazon fees uh, and taking away the product cost. Your overall margin per sale has gone up a lot. Uh, this can be used for everyday items such as cables, socks. Some items don't really lend themselves to a two-pack. For example, if someone was buying a kitchen set, they may not necessarily want two sets of the same thing. They may want three different items. Whereas something like an iPhone cable, um, I mean, people lose cables all the time. Maybe they want one for home or office. So use your common sense to decide whether it makes sense to have two or three of the same item in a pack or whether it makes more sense to create a special uh, set that's different. Um, so for example, here in the kitchen category, you have a, a range of spatulas which are all slightly different to create the set. Selling one on its own, maybe in the in the custom size, it's worth seven or eight dollars. But as a free pack, uh, this particular listing is at almost $20. Uh, the overall cost of this product isn't going to be very, very high, but they've increased the perceived value by making it a free pack together in this case. Here, similar. And uh, another thing you can do is having free, many different but related products into a gift set. That makes sense. Here it does. So there's a whole range of different kitchen utensils into one gift set packaged together. Uh, to create a, 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 a higher value item. Similarly here. But again, what you need to do when considering this is consider the price you can charge. Here's $18.99 versus the cost of the goods. So here they have five items in the set and they're charging $19. Whereas here we have three items in the set and they're charging $20. This one's obviously going to have a much higher margin. So you don't just want to chuck in as many different things as possible. You, what you want to look at is how much can I sell it for and how much extra do I get if I add this item? And just experiment with the price uh, that you think you can get versus the cost of adding that set together and choose the one which is going to be most profitable for you whereas still being appealing and attractive to the customer as a, as a set altogether. So this is a huge set, but it's sold at $15.56. So the profit margin for this is going to be very, very low because of the fact that the, the seller has to buy all of these different items in to create the set. And they haven't really increased the perceived value much. Why? Because all of the items look relatively cheap and basic. Maybe they would have been better off creating a free pack, but make the item 10 or 20% uh, more expensive individually, the cost at the factory, so it seemed more premium, charge a similar price, and they would have a much higher margin. But what they've done here is offered various different options under that same listing. Uh, another good strategy of bundling is maybe to sell one item on its own uh, as a kind of attention catcher. And then once they're on your listing, you've got such a good price for a free pack that they, they automatically go for the free pack because they're getting free at $20 instead of one at 10. So you've managed to upsell them that way. 
Uh, an item like a hammer, it's very unlikely someone's going to want a free pack of a hammer. Uh, and But what you can do is, one, first of all, consider, can I do multiple of the same item? Does it make sense for this particular market? If not, is there something similar I can add that as a set would increase the perceived value and is useful to your customer? So if you're thinking about creating a set or a, a bundle, what you should do is have a look at what the, the product that you're selling is also sold with and try to find uh, items that you can combine together to create uh, a bundle, either a higher priced one or you, so for example here you could you could offer the insulated socks and maybe the balaclava as a set for $30 together or you could look out for items which you think are very very cheap which you can almost add in for free to the insulated thermal socks set for example maybe you do two expensive thermal socks and a free pair of cotton gloves to go in that cost you 50 cents or 60 cents at the factory you need to uh, look at so let's have a look at this together insulated you need to look at the market and consider for that particular category uh, what would stand out what makes sense what kind of price range can I go for you see they're already at the high end of the price range at $24 if they then bundle further they may have to charge $30 to make the similar profit margin and it makes them perceived value of the perceived cost of the product much too high versus the others but for example if this particular seller was to then add in a free cotton gloves and sell for 20 their listing doesn't look so expensive versus this one so it really depends on the particular product and market you're going after can you add additional value but still be priced competitively so overall your set seems the best value versus the other listings on the front page for that product so here we have four pairs 9.99 so if they were to add in a cotton hat and cotton gloves and charge 20, that would seem the best value on the page uh, and still below the highest priced item. So, and you know, a pair of cotton gloves, cotton hat in China, maybe a dollar, dollar fifty for a set of both, um, still allowing them to earn a decent profit margin and increase the perceived value versus the competition. So bundling all depends on what's the price range that's normal for your market what are other people doing so it may change over time what one bundle which works for three or six months might change because your competitors are now offering uh, different prices different products also so it's something that you need to monitor um, and continually try to add more value to your listing while being relatively competitive on price so ways to find uh, good bundle ideas is to just scroll down look at customers who bought this item also bought uh, and just skimming through so we have 13 pages here of potential ideas so we have this kitchen set here maybe a whisk is a great thing to add because it, it matches in with someone someone who's using the spatulas maybe is using it to make cakes um, and so maybe they need a whisk for during the process as well and uh, I can't see a whisk costing much more than a dollar um, at the factory. So you have your set for seven thirty-four here. You're adding the whisk at a dollar. Maybe they're now able to charge fifteen or eighteen dollars for the the four pack. So just skim through. When you're bundling, what you want to consider is you want items which are cheap. Uh, small and relatively light so you're not adding too much to the packaging size and the shipping cost as well so you're, you're maximizing the margin and increasing the overall perceived value I mean if you were to add a mixing bowl it would take this this box maybe a small rectangle box to hold all three but if you're adding this bowl it now becomes huge and the shipping cost gets blown out of proportion so even though you've added perceived value maybe you lose all of that additional perceived value just to Amazon FBA fees and the shipping costs as well so skimming through looking for items that maybe match uh, if my item was a hammer I would do the same so I'd go down a tape measure 
great, great bundle item because maybe you can pick up a decent uh, tape measure for 50 cents or a dollar in China. And so for my hammer, we now search Amazon. Let's see how adding a tape measure. You see, all of these items are just plain hammer. So now my hammer has a tape measure as well. The tape measure cost me 50 cents. Maybe I'm charging $12 instead of $8 for the overall set. Uh, the tape measure looks good. So overall, the perceived value of my item versus the competition has gone up. Uh, someone who's buying a hammer may very well want a tape measure. And since I'm the only one with a tape measure as well as a hammer on the front page, my listing stands out. It's unique. I mean, what's the difference between these these hammers? Um, otherwise, they're all quite similar. It's just it's just a way of increasing your margin, getting your listing to stand out, and also uh, giving the customer more value for money as well. So, what else could we possibly add? We have a multi screwdriver, the um, the level. All of these items are going to be relatively cheap, yet as a set or a combo with a hammer, we're not increasing the price of the item too much. So here you've got $15. If I'm this seller at $9.97, I can afford to add a level and a tape measure and sell at $15. And if my listing side by side with his, and I've got a level and a tape measure included, which one are customers more likely to buy? The one with more value. Uh, another way to find additional bundle items is simply to ask the factory where you're buying your original item from saying what other items do they make. So having a look at their catalog, asking them for other cheap items, say, you know, I want to add something together with this into the pack. What have you got for under a dollar that I can add in? And they may be able to suggest other things that customers have done, getting their printed catalog from them. You can flick through and you can see what else they manufacture that maybe makes sense to add in and and also it gives you if you ask for an excel price list of all of their main items maybe you find something that's for 40 or 50 cents that you never considered could be so cheap that you can just chuck in and add value to your original bundle there's another reason why bundling is great and that's if i was doing a hammer and now my hammer includes a level and a tape measure uh, i can also include hammer tape measure and level in my title giving me access to more keywords so anyone searching for hammer tape measure or level may consider buying my free pack combo because in all three of those markets my product is the best overall value okay so you could go to alibaba for example search the product that your main item uh find a, a factory that makes your item and then seeing what other products that factory make too to consider what you could possibly add with it. Um, so here we have some other suggestions of things that we can add into the bundle as well as the main item itself. So maybe the silicon bakeware would fit well with the spatulas. Um, 0 0.1 to $5 a piece. I would expect an item like this to cost under a dollar so under a dollar, we're adding it together, and then we're going back to check the market. So let's see, silicon spatula. So we got twelve dollars. These are sponsored listings. Let's look at the actual original listings: eight dollars, seventeen dollars, twelve dollars. And so, how much is a silicon bakeware? Twenty dollars. $18. This is selling for $10 on its own. So if we're adding the two together, we can take the uh, original spatula set of three plus the bakeware. I mean, here we've got two for $11.99. Maybe with the, the, the bakeware as well, we can sell that for $15. But now it's the, mo unique, mo the most unique listing on the page. And also the perceived value is increased. We can sell for a higher price. We can get more margin. And we're more likely maybe to convert because the, the, the buyer looking at our listing sees that there's something else that they would potentially use included free. So in their mind, this set's worth $20 versus all the others which look similar to me. Nothing special about them. So maybe my listing's most likely to be chosen. 
So bundling ideas, the, the key is really thinking about your market, your price points, um, how what the competition's doing in that particular market. Is there a cheap item you can add that's similar, that creates a set? Asking the factory, even visiting shops and seeing uh, pop to Walgreens, pop to Walmart, pop to other retailers and have a look and see, okay, so this they're selling this item. What else are they selling around it? That's relevant that maybe I can include in. Look for items that are retailing for under $8, $10 because the factory price is maybe under a dollar or two and it might be a perfect bundle item. Remember to keep the price of the, the, the shipping and the FBA fees low by choosing lighter, smaller items. That's pretty much it on bundling. And the, the overall goal is to create more value and make your listing stand out. <laughs>